welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the MAC Love Me Lipsticks. If you do want to see a review and swatches, please keep watching. I purchased 12 out of the 24 shades in this collection, so let's go ahead and get started. This is what the packaging looks like. I love the ombre packaging. The colors do differ from the different shades. I did purchase some nude shades, some brown shades, and some red shades, so let's go ahead and open these up. When you open up the packaging, this is what the lipstick tube looks like. It is so gorgeous. Again, the ombre effect from in the middle and then it just disperses out. It does say MAC here in the middle and when you twist it up, you do have the lipstick shade. Also on the packaging, you do have the shade name here at the top. The first shade we are going to be swatching is in the shade under the covers. It does have that vanilla scent to it, which all MAC lipsticks have. So let's go ahead and swatch the first shade. Very creamy. Look how pigmented that is with one swipe. So this is not a matte lipstick whatsoever. This is a cream. Again, one swipe. I do want to read a little bit about this collection on Ulta.com. It does say love at first swipe. Fall in love with an argan oil infused formula that delivers an instant hit of powerful color and all day moisture. The true color gel system of ultra fine pure pigments evenly disperse bright smooth color for high impact one swipe payoff. A combination of lightweight oils and specialized waxes makes this lipstick feel luxurious, super silky, and barely there. The ultra gliding formula lays down beautifully in a thin film for a creamy and conditioning texture. With a weightless feel and satin soft finish, MAC's Love Me Lipstick loves you back. The benefits are vivid full cover payoff in one swipe, lightweight, super comfortable formula, cream finish, lips feel instantly and continuously moisturized throughout the day, nourishing and conditioning, lips are softer, smoother, and suppled with continued use. Let's go ahead and apply this to my lips. Wow, definitely one swipe pigment, but it did not cover up my upper lip. That's what I normally go by to see if it's really pigmented or not. Let's see. I do like the cream texture. I don't feel like this shade in particular is pigmented because you can still see my dark upper lip peeking through. The next shade is called As If I Care and it does come in the same packaging. Very pretty color. Let's go ahead and swatch that. Let's go ahead and apply this to lips. The first shade that we did swatch in under the covers is described as a dusty rose pink. The shade in As If I Care is described as a deep mauvey pink shade. I don't think that these lipsticks for me are one swipe pigment. I did have to go over my upper lip twice. My bottom lip was fine. If you have dark lips like I do, you might have to go over this lipstick maybe once or twice to get full pigmentation. The next shade is called Coffee and Sigs. This is described as a grayish brown shade. Let's go ahead and swatch this. What a pretty shade. This shade in Coffee and Sigs did cover up my dark upper lip. I really wish that MAC would have added a little bit more pigment to these lipsticks. The next shade in this collection is called DGAF. Let's swatch this shade. I love this chocolate brown shade. Let's go ahead and apply this. I definitely feel like I did not swatch this shade correctly, so let's swatch it once more. There we go. This shade in DGAF is that one swipe pigment which MAC was talking about. It is very pigmented on my lips. I did not have to go back in with another layer. The next shade is called Give Me Fever and this has a different packaging to it. It's got this red ombre. Open this up. Ooh, look how vibrant this red shade is. It's described as a vivid true red shade. And yes indeed it is. <laughs> For some reason, I do think that this red shade does make my teeth look whiter. 
What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I have a lot of red shades, but I don't wear them as often as I would like. I normally stay with my browns, my neutrals, and like my pinks. Red, I don't really wear on a daily basis. I wear it maybe once or twice per week. The next shade is called E for Effortless. Another pretty red shade. I didn't realize I picked up two red shades. Let's see what this shade looks. Oh, oh, oh no, it's breaking. Oh my goodness. I need to be careful because this is $19. Get back inside. I definitely have to be careful with this one because this is not effortless. <laughs> But this is a gorgeous, deep, burnt red shade. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. Even though that this shade was a little bit of a struggle to apply on my lips because it did kind of break here at the bottom. So I definitely have to be careful when applying this lipstick next time, but other than that, I really do love this lipstick shade. Let's move on to the next shade in this collection. The next shade is called Mason Rouge. It's another red shade, but this is more of a burgundy. Let's see what this shade swatch is like. Here we have all three of the reds. Again, I do want these lipsticks to have a little bit more pigment. Looking in the mirror up close, I can notice that my dark lips are kind of peeking through. Since these are lipsticks, they would wear off quite quickly throughout my day. The next shade in this collection is called Laissez Faire. This shade is described as a muted grayish pink shade. Let's see what this shade looks like. I can barely see it. This is what my lips would look like if I did not have a dark upper lip. It is beautiful. It complements my skin complexion. It doesn't wash me out at all. This shade is definitely wearable in my opinion. You guys know that my favorite color is purple and I guess this shade was meant to be. The next shade is called Hey Frenchie. This shade is described as a deep mauvey pink shade. It doesn't quite show up on my skin, like it's barely there. Same thing with this shade, but I love this shade. This shade might surprise me. I do really like this shade in Hey Frenchie, but still I'm struggling with the pigmentation. You can still see my dark upper lip peeking through. If I had to choose between this collection, the Love Me Lipstick Collection, and let's say another matte collection, like their mattes collection, which is amazing, I would choose their mattes collection. I am looking at the pictures online and you can see on the model that has a deeper complexion, the lipstick swatch is very streaky, especially in the shade Coffee and Sigs. You can see her dark lips peeking through from this shade. I mean, it's a beautiful shade. I love this shade. But you can see it's not one swipe pigment. I don't agree that this Love Me Lipstick Collection is one swipe pigment. The next shade in this collection is called Killing Me Softly. This shade is described online as a mauvey plum shade. It doesn't look like a plum in person, but let's see what it does swatch like. It is gorgeous. That is not a mauvey plum shade. I would think it's a mauve more than a plum. I love this shade in Killing Me Softly. It compliments me. The next shade is called Moncure, which means my heart. It is described as a deep rosy pink shade. I'm running out of arm swatches, so we're gonna swatch this one here. That is another gorgeous shade. I love this shade, but I don't like the pigmentation. The last shade in this collection that I did purchase is called Baited Breath. Online, this shade is described as a warm pinky brown shade.
love the shade, I just don't like the pigmentation. Here we have all 12 shades swatched on the back of my hand. My final thoughts on this lipstick collection is that I don't like this formula. I just feel like it's too sheer in my opinion. There could have been a little bit more pigmentation in the lipsticks. I understand that this formula does have argan oil in it. It's supposed to be moisturizing. I will be doing a wear test on this particular shade that I currently have on throughout my entire day and I will leave it in the description box down below to let you guys know how long it did last throughout my day, how many times I did have to reapply and all that jazz if you guys are interested. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.